Them racing fans to the Motorsports Radio Weekend Edition, show number 622. Here's a recap of last weekend's winners. NASCAR Camping World Truck Series winner John Hunter Nemechek in the number 8 truck or at Gateway Motorsports Park. Xfinity Series and Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series in Michigan. NASCAR Xfinity Series winner from last Saturday, Danny Hamlin, who was in the number 20 car. Uh, unfortunately, that win was encumbered. Uh, there was a penalty um, that they accrued on Saturday. We'll get to that in a moment. Mazda Genes Car Cup Series winner Kyle Larson in the 42 car. NHRA action last weekend with the Thunder Valley Nationals from Bristol. Pro Stock winner Alex Laughlin. Funny Car winner Rod Caps. And Top Fuel winner Clay Milligan. First, take a look at the driver standing, starting with the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Top 10. Uh, Kyle Larson, Truex Jr., Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, and Chase Elliott rounding out the top five. Kyle Larson with 13 playoff points, 20 for Truex Jr., 4 for Kyle Busch, uh, Kevin Harvick with 3, Chase Elliott with 2. And then 6th through 10th in order, it's Brad Keselowski, Jay McMurray, Jimmy Johnson, Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano. Matt Kenseth in 11th place, Joey Logano and Matt Kenseth both with 398 points, both with one playoff point each. Kasowski with 12, Jimmy Johnson with 15. Uh, it's Saturday Series, top 10, Elliot Sadler, Justin Algaia, William Byron, Daniel Hemrick, and Brent Poole rounding out the top 5. Elliot Sadler with 3 playoff points, 7 for Justin Algaia. And then 6 through 10th in order, it's Ryan Reed, Darrell Wallace Jr., Cole Custer, Matt Tiff, and Michael Annette. Ryan Reed with 5 playoff points, and Darrell Wallace Jr. with 1. So I don't know how that plays out since they uh, suspended the number 16. So we'll have to see. And then uh, take a look at the Kevin Royal Truck Series. Uh, first through 10th in order. Uh, Johnny Sauter, Christopher Bell, Matt Crafton, Chase Briscoe, and Ben Rollins rounding out the top five. Christopher Bell with 13 playoff points. Johnny Sauter first place with nine. Six through 10th in order. It's Grant Infinger, Ryan Truex, Kyle Grala, John Denimichek, and Noah Gregson. Ryan Truex with one playoff point. Five for Kyle Grala, six for John Hunter Denimichek. Take a look at the Mus- uh, the manufacturer standards for the Mazda Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Chevrolet in first place. Second place is Ford and Toyota in third. In the Xfinity Series, it's Chevrolet, Ford, and Toyota in the top three. Fourth place is Dodge. And in the Camping World Truck Series, Toyota in first place. Chevrolet in second. Ford in third. All right, so in, on a, another big buzz in the... In the NASCAR world, Jimmy Seventon Johnson will be driving for Hendrick Motorsports through 2020, according to fans cited. Uh, some may have thought that Jimmy Johnson, uh, driver of the 48, may, have, may be retiring after this year. A lot of the big names have been retiring lately, but we got Jimmy Johnson for three more years. Uh, piloting the 48 Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet. Uh, Jimmy Johnson made his Cup Series debut in 2001. So, um, Jimmy Johnson's statistics... 558 races, 83 wins, 221 top fives, 336 top tens, 438 top twenties, and 34 poles, 159,875 total laps, 18,605 total laps led, October 2001 through June 18, 2017. Race car driver Billy Johnson is scheduled to drive the 43 car Sunday at Sonoma. Uh, Bill, Billy Johnson has some road course experience, and of course, uh, NASCAR heading for its first road course race of the season. Uh, Darrell Wallace Jr. has been driving the 43 car for the past two weeks, Pocono and Michigan. Billy Johnson raced in the Xfinity Series for five years. Also in the American Le Mans Series, the uh, Rolex Sports Car Series, the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, and the FIA World Endurance Championship. GMS Racing, considering the big move to the Cup Series, according to Motorsport.com, uh, GMS Gallagher Motorsports, currently fielding three trucks in the Camping World Truck Series and two cars in the Xfinity Series. Uh, in the Camping World Truck Series, they field the 21, 23, 24, and the 33. Xfinity Series, it's the 23 and the 96. Beef with Fox. This one was a little uh, weird, crazy. Uh, Elliot Sadler. Uh, who finished third in last Saturday's Xfinity Series race, which was actually the Irish Hills 250. Uh, Kate went over the schedule last weekend and didn't have a name for it listed on the schedule, and that's what that's, that was the name with the Irish Hills 250. Uh, Elliot Sadler driving on the number one car. Now, he has beef with Fox because they skipped his interview. To, uh, he finished there, so he, everybody knows he go, they uh, interviewed the third-place guy, right? And then the second-place guy 
And then while they're doing all that, everything's getting set up on uh, Victory Lane. And then they go to interview the winner. And they got the confetti and the beer and everything. Uh, well, uh, he, he's got to be with Fox because they skipped his interview and instead interviewed Brad Keselowski, who came in fourth. Uh, I wonder if they did that just because he's a Cubs series driver, but uh, Brad Keselowski, um, he's a Michigan native, and as mentioned, came in fourth. Uh, Elliot Sadler tweeted at NASCAR on Fox, I don't understand, I finished third, and I'm leading in points, you don't uh, have time to interview me, but you interview people after me. Uh, so that's interesting right there. Uh, so that's for this one, ForTheWin.com, uh, which is a new source that we've discovered. Now, currently in the Xfinity Series driver standings, Elliot Sadler is in first place with 460 points uh, and three playoff points, as we just mentioned. Keselowski does not get any uh, Xfinity Series points because he is a Cup Series driver. The winner of Saturday's Iron Shells 250, as mentioned, Danny Hammond, driving the number 20 car. And this leads us to this week's penalty update. Two NASCAR Xfinity Series teams and one NASCAR Capital Truck Series team were handed penalties on Wednesday. Here is the scoop. Starting with the Xfinity Series team, the number 20 team driver, Danny Hammond. Uh, 20 car, the 20 team, uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, was penalized for a so-called, quote, splitter structure. The splitter, sometimes referred to as the front skirt, uh, was not flat. Uh, that's the little piece uh, right underneath the uh, the grill, if you will, the little thin piece that is the splitter right there, and uh, they got fined for that. Crew Chief Chris Gibhart has been fined $25,000 and suspended for the next two Xfinity Series races. Also, the Double Zero team, Stuart Haas Racing, uh, the Double Zero, driven by Cole Custer, who finished 10th, uh, they were penalized for a lug nut violation. Uh, crew chief Jeff Mundaring has been fined $5,000. Now, the one Camping World Truck Series team that was penalized was the 0-2 team. Uh, driver Austin Hill, uh, the 0-2 team failed post-race height requirements. Crew chief Bruce Cook has been fined $5,000 and suspended for one truck series race. Also, uh, they lose 10 driver points and 10 owner points. Uh, Austin Hill finished uh, 14th at Gateway Motorsports Park. Now, the 20 team is when it's encumbered. Uh, who drives the 20 car now? <laughs> it used to be Eric Jones. Eric Jones is a Cup Series driver, too, uh, now. Uh, so... The 20th, the penalty doesn't go on uh, Danny Hammond because he's a Cup Series driver, so uh, that that's how that works. Uh, and uh, speaking of Cup Series teams, uh, no penalties this week for any Cup Series drivers. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now racing fans, it's time for uh, the MotorsportsRadio.net racing schedule. The NASCAR Xfinity Series and the NASCAR Capital Truck Series heading to Iowa, Newton, Iowa to be exact. Uh, opened in 2006 as the Iowa Speedway, uh, approximately three quarter mile, uh, .875 miles to be exact. Uh, banking's at the corners between 12 and 14 degrees. The front stretch it is 10 degrees. Uh, back stretch is 4. Lap record set by IndyCar driver Helio Castro Neves in 2014 with a lap time of 17.2283 seconds. Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series heading to Sonoma Raceway for some road course racing. Yes, they're going left and right. Full course at the raceway at Sonoma is 12 turns, but the part, uh, the section for the NASCAR course is actually 10 turns and 1.99 miles. Yes, 1.99. A <laughs> uh, lap record set by Kyle Larson in 2015 uh, with a lap time of 14, uh, 1 minute 14.186 seconds. IndyCar has its last uh, race of the season at Sonoma, uh, which is on September 17th. Now, this weekend, IndyCar is racing at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin at Road America. America. Uh, Xfinity Series will be heading there a little later on in the season. Uh, Road America, America's National Park of Speed. Four miles of asphalt with 14 turns located in Sheboygan County. Formula One heading to Azerbaijan and NHRA heading to Ohio to the Summit Racing Equipment Motorsports Park in Norwalk. 
Now for this weekend's racing card. Starting with the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Friday night at 8.30 on FS1 and MRN for the M&M's 200. Presented by Casey's General Store. 200 laps. Stages 1 and 2 will be 60 laps each. And stage 3 will be 80. NASCAR Xfinity Series on Saturday night at 8.30 Eastern on FS1 and MRN for the American Ethanol E15-250. Presented by Enogen. Uh, 250 laps. Stages 1 and 2 will be 60 laps each. And stage 3 will be 130. And Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Racing on Sunday afternoon for some left turns and right turns. Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern on FS1 and PRN for the Toyota Save Mart 350. 110 laps. Stages 1 and 2 will be 25 laps each, and Stage 3 will be 60. IndyCar on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern on NBCSM for the Cold Grand Prix. Formula 1 on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Check NBCSM, okay, and NBC. Uh, it's probably going to be on NBCSM, but check both. Uh, they're going to be racing in the streets of Baku, and that's going to be the, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, 51 laps. This is actually going to be the second year in Baku. Uh, circuit length is 6.003 kilometers. Lap record set last year by Nico Rosberg. Uh, lap time of 1 minute, 46.485 seconds. Uh, 20 turns, and the tires being used on Sunday are going to be super soft and medium. And NHRA heading to Ohio. This is going to be for the Summit Racing Equipment NHRA Nationals. Qualifying on Friday night at 10.30 and midnight Saturday, both on FS1. Finals on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern, also on FS1. Attention NASCAR fans, Cup Series Race Recap Sunday after the race. This is going to be show number 625 on deck, uh, live after Sunday's race. And, of course, shows will be available on demand for on-demand listening. From Long Island, New York, this is Manny Allegretta, and this is the home of Motorsports Talk. And check out our new logo, motorsportsradio.net.